Hello students, welcome to NG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Here myself, Mr. Jaswal Kishan, Civil Engineering Department. And here we are learning all about structural analysis. So today we are in session number five for slope reflection method. So today we will be considering one more examples of beam without sinking. So let's start. Here given, analyze the beam by slope reflection method and draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So now here A support, B support and C support is given but there is no support given at D. So we will be not considering D in the KI. So A is a fixed support, B is main support and C is roller support. So there are AB span and BC span and but CD is a cantilever. So A is a fixed, B is a simple and C is a roller. So let's find KI. So KI is nothing but 3J minus R. J is 1, 2 and 3 only and we will not consider D. So 3, 3 is a 9. Minus 3 plus 2 plus 1 are the reaction 6. So 9 minus 6 are 3. Our unknowns will be, here there will be no unknown, here there will be theta B. And here there will be theta C as well as horizontal unknown. But as we are said that in beam example, we will be not considering this horizontal unknown so there will be only two number of unknown which is theta b and theta c so there are two number of unknowns will be proceeding our example so our first step is to find fem now here fixed and moment so here mfab and mfbl will be of udl so the formula for udl is wl square by 12 at a it will be minus and at b it will be plus so minus W is 35, L is 3, so L square is 9, divided by 12. So W L square by 12 will be putting all the values, so we'll be getting minus 26.25. Similarly, it will be getting for MFDA 26.25 kN into meter. So this was the basic step which we did in previous sums also. So this is easy, right? Next is eccentric point load. Now there are two number of point loads are given. So please pay attention how to solve. So the formula is similar W A B square by L square. But there are two loads. So for both of that we have to apply one by one formula is W A B square upon L square. So first of all forget this second number of UD point load 40 just remind this 40 kN. So 40 and for this 40 kN this will be my A and the remaining length will be my b. So 1 is a and 2 is b. So 1 multiplied by 2 square 4 divided by 3 square 9. Similar manner for this 40, forget this 40. So for this 40, a will be summation of 1 plus 1, 2 and b will be 1 only. So a is 2 and b will be 1. So 40 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 square is 1 divided by l square 9. So after placing this, we will be getting minus 26.67. Now, MFCB is W A square B by L square. So putting this AB in the respective value, so we will be getting plus 26.67. Here you are getting same value because there are two equal number of point load at equidistance. So the value will be same. Now, here a cantilever is given. So there is no span. There is no span C to D. The D is not a support. So it's a cantilever. So for this CD, support, CD span, we have to find out only moment which we were uh, finding out previously in our previous sessions of structure analysis. So in a simple way, we will be finding out moment at C. UDL multiplied by distance, multiplied by distance square divided by 2 divided by. So MFCD will be equal to directly MCD. Directly will be getting moment. There will be no fixed end moment for CD span. So the formula is WL square by 12 is WL square by 2. So W is 20 multiplied by 1 square divided by 2 will be getting minus 10. I would like to repeat once again that to convert this UDL into a moment. So load into distance into distance by 2. WL square by 2 will be my final value of MFCD. It is not MFCD, it is MCD which is my end moment. So this we have to remember. If there is no support, there will be no FPM. Now 
our next step is to find slope deflection equation so m is there are a to b span so there will be two for this and two equation for mbc span so mab is nothing but mf ab plus 2 ea upon l in bracket 2 theta plus 1 theta b minus 3 delta by l as there is no sinking given so delta will be zero theta b is my unknown and theta is fixed support so zero so after placing all the things we will be getting this equation now here mark the point 2i is given so at the place of ei we will be placing 2 ea and at the place of l we will be placing this 3 and mf ab which we have found out over here so this is my equation 1 in similar manner in equation 2 and this was for ab span next will be for bc span so mbc and mf mcb will be for this cb span so for bc span there will be mf mbc and mcb so mbc is nothing but mfbc plus 2a upon l now here my both the unknowns are there so theta b and theta c will remain as it is but delta will become zero so now after solving this i will be getting in two form theta b and theta c form because both are my unknown in equation one and two only theta b was unknown so here also theta b and theta c are unknown now now as i said there is no cd span as there is no support at d so it's not a span so there will be no equation for that as it was in fem so our next step is equilibrium equation so the equilibrium equation will be at b support summation of moments equals to zero and at c supports moments of summation of moment at c equals to zero so for at b it will be mba plus mbc equals to zero and for at c it will be mcb plus mcd this mcd is nothing but with that 10 value which we have found out in fem directly mcd we got so at the place of mcd we will be putting 10 as i have shown over here and for mba and mbc we will be putting equation which we have found out this is my equation number two this is my equation number three so and this is my equation number four and this is my direct value so after solving this equation we will be getting a and b equation and solving that a and b we will be getting theta c and theta b value this is a basic simple mathematics steps which we were doing so this same steps we have found out uh, done in previous sum also to find out two number of unknown how to solve now here just the change is that here directly minus 10 has been placed from where this minus 10 has came it is the value of mcd and mcd which we have found out that udl 20 multiplied by 1 square divided by 2 so it is coming minus 10 so i have placed directly minus 10 over here so after solving we will be getting this equation and then finally our theta c and theta b value so our next step is to find out final moments so for final moments we will be placing all the values so there are how many number of uh, equation there is one number two three four and five so there are four equation let's see this is one equation second third so from here i will be getting m a b here i will be getting m b a m b c from equation number four i will be getting m c b but for m c d it is directly minus 10 we have found out in step one only so look this is from equation 1, from equation 2, from equation 3 and this is from equation 4. And this was what we have found out in step number 1. So directly keeping as it is. Now as we know summation of moment should be equal to 0. So here you can see 32.6 equals to 0. Here 10 minus 10, 0. So our calculation is correct. Now here there are two equations which I have found out. So I have taken out BC span outside and you know that there are two point load so for this two point load there will be position of moment over there so below the point load there will be moments so i have named as e point and f point new markings are been given because we have to find out moment below the point load so how to find out let's see so as i know there is 40 kilometer and 40 kilometer loads are there so i will be finding out just a random rv and rc this is not for shear force this is only to find out moment at c, e and f so rv and rc are there 
so let's consider rc multiplied by 3 equals to 40 multiplied by 1 plus 40 multiplied by 2 i will be getting this rc is equals to 40 then total upward load equals to total downward load so 40 plus 40 equals to 80 80 minus 40 will be getting 40 only so at this point and at this point i have found out first reaction now to found out moment at e and f use this reaction so rb multiply by 1 so rb is nothing but 40 40 multiply by 1 is 40 only so moment at e equals to 40 only moment at f you can find out from both the side from this side also and from this side also so let's see 40 multiply by 2 minus 40 multiply by 1 so ultimately 40 only and from this side you can see that directly rc into 1 rc is nothing but 40 So my moments are 40 and 40. Now don't assume that here it is 40, 40. So the react, uh, moment and reaction both will be 40, 40. No, if the value change, this length and this point load change, there may be variation in the value. We have to find out by the systematically method by applying formula only. Not you can directly put values. So after solving this, I'll be getting this final moments, which will be useful for drawing bending moment diagram. Now. Next step is to find out shear force calculation. Now, this is a given beam AB, BC, and C2D. UDL was given, and this R nothing but my moment has been used. Minus 23 plus 32. Look, minus 23 plus 32 because clockwise. Minus 32 and 10. And here it is RA. Here it is RB. But For this load, it will be RB1, and for this load, it will be RB2. Similarly for RC. So let's see how to find out. This is has been done for in sum number one only. This is just a repetition. Let's see. RB1 multiplied by three equals to 32.61. This clockwise moment. Then minus 23.07 plus this 35 multiplied by three into three by two is 1.5. So I'll be getting. RB1 total downward load equals to total upward load. Then getting RA. Similar way we will be solving BC. So RC1 multiplied by 3 equals to 40 multiplied by 1 plus 40 multiplied by 2 plus this 10 kilonewton minus this 32.61. So I'll be getting RC1 total upward load equals to total downward load equals to RB2. Then RB is nothing but RB1 plus RB2. This is RB1. This is RB2. This is just a basic simple uh, steps which we are following, which we did in step number uh, example number one also. And these are basic structural analysis which we have learned earlier also. So getting RB. And then for RC2, how to find out? As there is no support, so we'll be directly getting this 20 into 1 downward equals to RC2. So RC2 is nothing but 20 into 1 only. So RC2 is 20, and RC1 plus RC2 is nothing but RC. After this, we will be drawing our diagram, and I know you know how to draw this diagram because we have done in previous two sums also. These are my end span moments. These are my central span moment. Now look, this we have found out 40, 40 M at E and M at F in previous. step look over here i have written for ab span it is 39.38 formula is w square by 8 so these are my diagram so where the point is there there is the maximum moment we have to find out and uh, this is my shear force diagram ra is 49.32 then 49.32 minus 35 into 3 so i'll be getting minus 55.68 Then adding R B 103.22, I'll be reaching towards 47.54. Then at one meter there is no load, so continuous. Then minus 40, so reaching 7.54. Then again one meter there is no load, in 7.54 minus 40 reaching minus 32.46. And then again for one meter there is no load, so straight. And then there is R C of 52.46. So 32.46 plus 52.46 will be getting 20, and then di directly straightly 20 multiplied by 1 minus if we do, then we'll be reaching towards zero. So this was our shear force and bending moment diagram.
Let's have a quick revision. We have found out FEM, then slope reflection equation, then applied equilibrium equation, then applied final moments, and then drawn shear force and bending moment diagram. FEM, slope reflection equation, equilibrium equation, final moments, shear force calculation, and then diagram. So this was the sum which extra cantilever was given and there was a little change for this as well as there are two ascended point loads so little change for that also this is a type 3 which we did.